All right, I'm back, and uh, so are you. Now we will take a closer look at uh, Rick Decker's shots. Uh, you have seen them on the Sigma's SD15 website, and uh, what I will do now is to show you how to develop these correctly. Uh, okay, so when I open them, they look like this. It's uh, slightly underexposed. You can see here, group on the histogram that something is not correct. It's uh, way too underexposed. Uh, so one of the first things I will do is to bring up the exposure. And uh, well, I guess something like this looks okay. I don't want to destroy the clouds here, so I will just wait a bit before I do anything more. Okay, the second part would be to change the exposure. Now, when I got it, yeah, now it's sunlight and that's correct. Um, but I've also used the pimpette now to find something that is grey. And what is the most grey part of this picture? It's the clouds. So let's pick a cloud and see what happens. You can see here there's an extreme improvement on this picture just by clicking on the cloud. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied there already. And let's go up here and have a closer look about the exposure overall. I think it looks pretty good looks pretty good. Okay, I will go down a little bit. Um, you could actually stop here. This would be uh, good enough for most people. Uh, I think I will push the contrast slightly because I feel that this is a very hot place uh, and the sun is probably very strong and the shadows should be very <clears throat> hard to get that strong sunlight feeling. Uh, so I think something like this would be better, perhaps even one more step. Mm, no, I will just keep it like this. Hmm, I like this. Looks really good. So this is a picture taken by Rick Decker. Uh, I don't know why he took this one. He lives in Hawaii. But this is, this is not Hawaii, right? Hmm, maybe he's in some desert in Nevada or something outside of Las Vegas. I don't know. Ah, okay, so uh, this was the first uh, the first fix, and uh, we save the settings here by clicking that one. All right, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so here we have another shot, and uh, this I think it looks a bit pale because the outer here is trying to find what it looked like, you know, by reading the numbers. But the numbers in this case I think is off a bit. It's not easy to calculate the, the colors in a situation where everything is red. Okay, so let's uh, pick the right uh, white balance instead. This should be shade, perhaps. We can try and see what happens. I think the, the, the beam here becomes way too yellow. Uh, perhaps we should try sunlight instead. Yeah, see what happens. Yeah, that looks much, much better. The beam should be sort of grayish, right? Uh, to make it look neutral and you can also see if we can bring down the exposure some because you see here is a bright yellow area and I mean that's okay it looks pretty cool with this bright yellow but we can also enhance the shadows here by adding a little bit of fill light and you can see how all these details come to life you see here this is beautiful you see that what lens is this? This is the 8 to 16. Mm. Looks like that's a pretty good lens. You can see here how the beam is there. You can try to neutralize the colors there. You can focus on the beam alone and uh, see if you can make it more neutral. Oh, I think this looks more neutral to me. Because you don't want it to be tinted like in a strong green way, or strong blue way, or strong this way, but you know, just uh, dusty, hmm? dusty, dusty, slightly yellow. Because I think the dust is slightly yellow. Hmm? I think something like this. Now we have sort of found a pretty good balance on the picture. If I have the exposure down uh, just a tiny bit, you can uh, see the highlights too. But now I think I want to keep that one. And the sunlight exposure. I mean the white balance and by dealing with the color adjustment. Okay, and now let's see this setting too. And we'll go to the next one. Here is another tricky image. Um, 
you can see that uh, we are now inside a cave or something like that and we're looking out and the first thing that hits me is that it's slightly overexposed and it looks like there will be some bleeding so the clouds are sort of dead but we will go up slightly now the same thing here it's sunlight outside so we will continue with sunlight that's a good one uh, but we need to find a good white balance and I will start off by clicking the clouds and that brings us a much much improved picture and now I will fight a little bit to find that good blue you look at the blue color and I will zoom in so I will not be distracted by the uh, by the rest in the picture but I want to see yeah, something like this and now start to work Let's see if I can find a good balance between the green, the red, and the blue. And this is uh, not extremely simple, but it's not too difficult either. Mm, the cloud looks a little bit okay, I think. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I think I like this. And now we can see what happens if we give it a little bit of saturation. Not needed, no. Fill light, perhaps, yeah, we can add a little bit. Not too much. Contrast. You know, let's try a little bit. And I think it's really contrasted to start with. Is this the same lens? Yeah, it is. 8 to 16. Mm, remember that one. Maybe I need to change my 10 to 20 to this one. Looks really, really nice. Okay, so this is about this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the show and I will continue next session with some higher ISO pictures. I know Lauren sent me some pictures that I need to have a look at. Alright, so bye bye, take care.